guys, welcome back to my channel uh, and welcome if you're new here. Um, today I want to talk about two things um, or two kinds of beings, starseeds and lightworkers. What are they? Where do they come from? Are you one? Um, stay tuned and we're going to find out some more. Okay, so to start off, I think it's important that we talk about what a soul is. So your soul is vibrationally um, kind of the origin of where you come from. It is your consciousness. It is what departs this world and your body when you pass away and goes into the ether. So um, how I have come to understand it through my studies and through my practice is that each soul has a unique vibrational frequency that comes from a light source. And this light source is somewhere in the universe, whether it's in this galaxy, whether it's close to the earth dimension, the 3D dimension, or in some cases, and actually in many cases, um, your soul comes from a different dimension or a multiverse. And so we're going to get into the specifics of light workers and star seeds. Um, but to know about that, what we're talking about is your soul, not your being, not you as a human. You didn't get dropped off in a UFO here. Um, it's a lot more exciting to think that. Um, so choose what you will, believe what you will. I am just sharing what I have learned um, throughout my ascension process and throughout my spiritual journey and understanding astrology, numerology, and spirituality. And so I have some notes here that are going to talk about what light workers are, what star seeds are, the differences, and also how we come together and how we're similar. So I hope you guys enjoy this. So, <clears throat> excuse me, a light worker. So a light worker is someone whose soul originates within the 3D realm. So it has a very close earth tie. Um, it can also come from the 4D realm. So these are, when I say 3D, 4D, etc., talking about dimensions. Um, as many of you know who study physics, astrophysics specifically, there are multiple, multiple dimensions. And yes, it's yet to be proven, but when you combine that with spirituality and you talk to spirit like I do, you start to learn all of these things. And so light workers, their soul origin comes from a frequency within the 3D and 4D and has very close earth ties. Um, so that's kind of where their light sources are. Now, um, they have the ability to channel spirit as well. Um, most of them, all of them, I mean, everyone technically does, but um, they also have the ability to connect and um, speak with, if you, if you will, in whatever terms, with multidimensional beings or higher dimensional beings, okay? Um, they're also here to help Earth transform to a new level. Um, so a lot of you might be hearing that Earth is going through a massive shift right now. It's going through a massive awakening. The collective um, is going through an upgrade in consciousness. Um, the new Earth is a common term as well. And light workers and star seeds alike are helping with this ascension because their souls and their vibrational frequency, because everything is made of energy, comes from a different place, okay? Comes from a higher realm and a higher vibration. And so by them simply just being here, it helps lift up the vibration of the earth and the collective around them that they engage with. Um, typically with light workers, they bring greater levels of trust, compassion, um, harmony, realness, they emit a very, very, very powerful light body. Um, and it's not to say you're going to see light beaming from them unless you are in tune with your chakras and you're on your ascension journey where you can see auras and things like that, but they just emit this sort of vibrational power and people are very drawn to them. Um, it's very easy to talk to them. It's it's kind of like effortless. It's like you've known them your entire life. Um, and that's just because they've vibrationally been around this area for so long that they do kind of feel like home. Um, 
They also, what I really find empowering about light workers is that they don't shy away from any darkness or ego. Um, they understand very much the yin yang duality within the body and within the soul and the chakras, but they also are very aware of the fact that there are very low vibrating beings out there and they don't shy away from that. They kind of take it on at, you know, how do you say it? They go, they go headstrong with it or they, they take it on at full force. I'm not really sure what the expression is, but, um, so they are very fearless in that sense on their journey and they have a mission here in the sense of their purpose is to help uplift humanity and again to help raise that collective consciousness. So now we're going to talk about star seeds. Star seeds are pretty similar to light workers, but their origin is a little different. So they come from higher dimensions um, resonating on the 5D or higher. Um, from what I've come to know, there is about 12 dimensions. Um, the twelfth dimension being the dimension of source, um, like where creation began, so like the Big Bang or like source energy. It's like, it's fully collective. I, I wouldn't even know how to put it into words to explain it. So they come from between the five, fifth dimension, 5D and 11D. And they come from these dimensions where like the physical incarnation of it no longer exists or a multiverse that no longer exists and so i wrote down some of the names of them and um so we have the pleiadians the arcturians the andromedans the lemurians syrians orions avians felines and reptilians and the latter three are not to be confused with um like the animals here in the in in the 3d world not the same thing at all it just means their vibrational source and when we we're speaking about reptilians what we're talking about is the very low vibrating those sort of dark energies and so I'm not going to talk too much about that because honestly I'm not ready to talk about it and I don't think you guys are either and it's not energy I want to conjure right now being that um, the 444 portal starts tonight so we'll talk about that later uh, but those are the different areas so let's talk about the Pleiadians for example so if you go on NASA and you see them talking about the star cluster Pleiades we're not talking about um, like if you were to take a telescope and zoom right into the Pleiades you're not gonna see a civilization living there because first of all they don't come from this dimension they come from a higher dimension so it's kind of like um, if you were to fold a piece of paper the paper looks the same but it's a level higher you know what I mean and they have already ascended in the sense of their consciousness their consciousness has evolved so much their race has evolved so much that now their souls and their spirit come to serve in lower dimensions and different incarnations of physical worlds to help uplift them. So when we're talking about uh, star seeds, we're talking about souls that have advanced um, their collectives. They are advanced consciousness. They are advanced souls that come from higher dimensions. And they possess not only spiritual knowledge and wisdom, but also scientific knowledge and wisdom that date back hundreds and thousands of years, hundreds of thousands of years, sorry. Um, so they're, when they come here, it feels very low vibrational for them and they are not used to the denser energies. Um, when you think of 3D, again, you think of three dimensions, right? This is very dense. The matter in my glasses is very dense. So the energy that vibrates within this is very dense energy. It's very low vibrating. But let's use water as a very poor example. The water in my water bottle, um, it flows around more. And so the energy and the vibration within my water is of a higher density or not a higher density, a higher dimension in the sense of its density is not as dense. I'm gonna fumble my words a lot here because now I'm starting to get a little anxious about speaking about things that are so real in my spiritual practice, but it's fine. Um, so star seeds seek to control interplanetary resources for the benefit of not only their home planet, but of the planet they're serving. And so 
they have lived many incarnations, not just here in the earth realm. They have lived their incarnations from their home source and their home planet. They have lived incarnations in other dimensions, in other multiverses. If you believe in that, I'm not sure how I feel about the multiverse thing, but I mean, who am I to judge? I'm just human. So, or am I? <laughs> Um, they are here to inspire human beings, again, to uplift their consciousness and to become very aware of themselves and this planet's evolution. They want people to understand the power that they have within themselves when they awaken their souls because everyone has this ability, right, to, to align the chakras and awaken their soul regardless of whether or not you are a 3D source soul or if you are a 4d 5d 60 etc it doesn't matter where your <clears throat> excuse me where your soul origin comes from you still have these abilities innately <clears throat> now the starseed souls are birthed through interconsciousness so basically um a higher awareness of two vibrational bodies is how I would best explain that, but that's also getting into some pretty interesting waters, but we can dive into that if you guys are ever interested. Um, the mission of Starseeds is similar to Lightworkers. They bring light to educate people in this incarnation. Um, again, like I said, to raise the higher levels of consciousness. But the difference is, is that unlike Lightworkers who have again those closer ties to the earth realm and this planet they don't come from this realm at all they don't have a tie to earth and they because their mission is so specific they go through they often go through multiple traumas in their early life um, and I'm still not sure why that is. I know with my journey, um, it's um, the way I've understood it, it's, it's kind of to like wake up your soul um, because through these traumas, these souls, not only do they learn for their own purpose here to, to shed light on certain things, but they also it also wakes up their soul. It kind of like jolts the soul awake. Um, I am not trying to invalidate or minimize anyone's trauma and I'm not saying if you've been through trauma that you're a starseed. I'm just saying that starseeds go through multiple early life traumas or trauma for a good beginning of their life until they begin to wake up. Um, and I'm really not sure why. I just know that they're put into very difficult and challenging lives because they have some of the toughest missions to complete here to help elevate the, the souls and the consciousness of the human collective. Okay. They also feel like they're not from here. They are always longing for home. Um, they don't fit in here, and I don't just, like, light workers feel like they don't fit in either in the sense of their vibration resonates higher, but starseeds really feel lost here. Um, so you might have heard of the term indigo child, rainbow child, um, what's the other term? Crystal child or children, um, or the older ways, like the blue rays, uh, the alphas and stuff like that. Those are star seeds. Um, so if you resonate with the term indigo child, which is the wave that I've come in with, uh, and the people that are in my circle have come in with, um, then you would also be considered a star seed. Okay. So the difference is, um, for light workers, like I said, they come from the 3D and the 4D. Uh, they're very tied to Earth. And they're known as elevated earth souls. Um, so this is kind of like your old souls and people who kind of like, you just feel like you've known them forever. Um, and they come to connect with earth and they adapt to the world during their incarnation to fulfill their purpose, right? They adapt. Star seeds, they're kind of like the black sheep. We don't really learn to adapt. Um, we deal with and always find some sort of rebellion. And I'm just seeing 333 three, three right now, so that's, and 22. Two. So that's just beautiful confirmation from spirit today. Um, thank you for that. So star seeds are the same as light workers, but they come from the 5D to the 8D, 9D, 10D. I wouldn't even say 11D. 
honestly, I would have to do a little bit more research on that, but to be safe, let's say between the 5D and the 8D, okay? They come from those um, dimensions. And they, like I said, they carry ancient knowledge and wisdom, and they've had many incarnations in many dimensions, okay? Um, if you're wondering which one you are, doing past life regression will really help because you'll be able to experience your past lives. And if you're experiencing it in a different body, in a different dimension, you're going to feel it and you're going to know it. Um, it's very cool. Um, and star seeds are different in the sense that they've only come to Earth a handful of times to help uplift the collective. Um, and like I said, yeah, they have fairly traumatic upbringings in one or multiple respects, and this helps them gain some wisdom about the human experience. Thank you for that, that's a download. It helps them gain valuable insight on what the human experience is like and the realities of a denser dimension of something that is a little bit more low vibrating. Now, their shared qualities are super cool. They are equally powerful and equally enlightening and peaceful, okay? And gifted. They are both social outcasts. Um, they have very unique eyes in the sense of you can kind of see the light glimmer within them. And I don't mean like an actual light, like if I were to take my flashlight and glow it in my eye, I don't mean that. But you can just see in their eyes something is different. Like when you look at them and you connect with them, there is something very powerful about that eye contact connection with someone that is a light worker or a star seed. Um, both will be longing for home. They don't really feel like they fit in here. Star seeds more than light workers. Um, and star seeds are like they're loners <laughs> um, as we're light workers they adapt a little bit easier with like the social connections and everything um, they are both uh, here to live a life of service as a guide for humanity and to uplift and to aid and really just they're here for service both of them they both have missions um, so the difference here is that a light worker has a mission to uplift humanity and to help the collective, and a star seed has that same mission plus a specific mission, which is typically tied to their trauma in a sense, um, or they have understood their purpose and their mission because of the trauma they have been through, right? Um, and this is something that their soul has chosen. So we'll talk about soul contracts in another video. Everyone has a soul contract. Um, and the soul contract is what basically is the predetermined purpose that you will play out and you will live out here in the incarnation. And then uh, both are naturally drawn to holistic and complementary healings and therapies. Um, so Reiki, uh, light work, um, and different kinds of energy healing, rituals, um, spell work in the sense of um, speaking different incantations and different um, words and manifesting. It's, um, it's known as spell work. Um, different things like that. Aromatherapy, um, herbalism. And they both have a very high sensitivity to stimuli, vibrations, emotions, and energy fields around them. So, for example, for me, um, like I've, I've mentioned to you guys before, like I can pick up on people, people's energy. I just feel, so, I'm so energy sensitive. I can tell when someone's having a bad day. I can, t I can half the time know what they're going through because spirit likes to chat. Thanks guys. And um, it's just because I'm energy sensitive and it's because of that. So if that kind of resonates with you or you really relate to the indigo child or rainbow child, uh, labels, then this video is probably very interesting to you. And the reason that I'm talking about this today is because tonight, um, at midnight, whenever it turns April 4th, we are going through the 444 portal, known as the Stargate portal. And you're like, what? Where do you get 444? Well, 2020, when you add it, 20 plus 20, it equals 4. Uh, so numerology is all brought down to one single digit between 1 and 9. Uh, zero being the source of creation and so tonight we have the 444 portal and four is all about the divine masculine um, so right now we're in the year of the divine masculine and so this portal is going to be immensely eye-opening um, divine masculines are probably going through massive awakenings right now the divine masculine within yourself also known as yang energy is going through a massive shift right now um, and given that we've been put into lockdown during 
such an important shift um, and as I like to call we are on a human timeout from the universe because truly you guys humanity has focused so much on material growth and materialism that spirit and the universe is like how have they lost sight of their purpose and the greater picture and their soul journeys and so we're basically being put on human timeout again not to take away from the pandemic and what people are going through i'm just saying from a greater perspective that is what's happening and the fact that we are in lockdown for the 444 portal um, basically forcing people to go inwards and to wake up it is no coincidence um, the more you come visit my channel and the more you have these discussions with me if you choose to if you're interested if it speaks to your soul uh, you will realize there are no such thing as coincidences so Anyways, I hope this video was enlightening for you. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And comment if you want to win a free reading because that is still going since last week's video. And I will talk to you next time. Bye, guys. Tell me who you are.